Hey guys, and welcome back to Deep Fear. When we last left off, uh, we had just been to the Navy area, which is some top secret research place, and we had found a monkey, a chimpanzee, with a very grumpy woman that kind of looks like our ex, question mark, our wife, girlfriend, our someone, uh, but apparently he's not that person. Uh, so, this monkey apparently has been in Earth's orbit. I did some looking up. I did I did a little bit of reading because I was playing this thinking, what the fuck is actually going on here, dear viewer? But uh, apparently that monkey has been in orbit for a very long time. Uh, came crashing down uh, in that capsule. That, mon oh, that monkey has... Uh, been orbiting Earth for like 30 years or something, but uh, anyway, that's kind of important with the story. I did spoil a little bit of the story for myself. N <sighs> I don't know how much of a spoiler, but we'll see. But I'm not going to spoil anything for you. Uh, just that that monkey is important, and it's been orbiting the planet and collapsed from space all the way down to earth and landed in the ocean and has been recovered and that is the deal with the monkey okay anyway let's go and have a little uh look at what we have to do next ah it's got to be in this one now as regards uh to finding a guide for this game there aren't any apart from one that i have found Actually, that's not true. I found two guides for this game. One is incomplete, so cool. The second guide is just words on slapped together. Very few sentences, very few paragraphs. It's just like the author... Oh, also very poor English as well. Um, someone just you know, played through this game a couple of times and just shit on, on onto a word document and that's your guide uh yeah so <laughs> um that's a thing that's not great um now also the fact that we have a cold that's important as well for some reason uh that's the reason it was mentioned and the reason why we actually have that really cool animation where he's sneezing uh, i don't know why that's important i just uh, have seen that that's important anyway Go to the control deck and see what's going on. See what we can do about the uh, submarine that has horrendously crashed. Oh, hello. You all right there, buddy? That can't be good for your back to be hunched over like that, but whatever. The Navy has done a fine job. Captain, Captain Clancy is calling for you in his room. Uh, okay, that's... Where's that? Wait, wasn't there some kind of, um, uh, like living quarters here somewhere? Uh, so this is the passenger. Uh, I suppose we could just start, like, looking in, in doors, I guess. What's this one? This is the conference room Probably don't need to go into the conference room. Like I said, this is a bear, uh, a bear. Yeah, I don't think there's any bears here, but this is a blind playthrough, so, yeah. We're going to be running around, probably getting lost. If I do get lost, I will cut the video, and I will try and work out where we're supposed to be going. But, um, no promises. So far, one problem I am having with this game is navigation, because everything kind of looks the same. Ah, right, well, okay, this is Clancy's room. Uh, oh, this looks spiffy. Dr. Weisberg, I think you should rest a bit in the infirmary. Yes, but there's something I want to check on, so I'm going back to my room in the MI area. Thanks for everything, Mr. Mayor. John's fine. He's talking to us now? Wow. She Thanks for going, Mayor. I heard everything. Dr. Weisberg. A human being turning into a creature? What's going on in the Navy area? <laughs> what goes on in there is top secret. Now, I'm afraid I can't answer your questions, but I will say this. The 
Navy has nothing to do with the creatures. But, but, anyway, <coughs> a SEAL team has been called in for the rescue. Until they arrive, the Navy area will be sealed off. Okay. What? Okay, I'll be right there. The Sea Fox, it's in a bad situation. Mayor, you come to the deck too. Okay. Okay, so I guess we're going to go back to the deck. Well, at least she's projecting words from her mouth. That's more than we were getting out of her earlier, so that's cool. Uh, okay, so Clancy is our boss. Is his first name Tom, by any chance? You've obtained a letter to Captain Dawkins. Okay. Captain Clan Okay, Captain Clancy Dawkins. U.S. Navy uh, Pacific Fleet. After due consideration of all your efforts in previous incidents, and you and all you have done for the United States of America, you have now been appointed Chief of Command of the Underwater uh, Fueling Facility Base SSB-01 as of January 1st, 1999. <gasps> that must have been such a futuristic year. I mean, when did the Sega Saturn come out? Wasn't it like, um, I want to say 1991? 1995 something like that yeah might have even been 1996 thinking about no I don't think it was that I forget anyway January 1st 1999 Virgil K McBright Chief of Command US Navy Pacific Fleet okay then anything else in here Any, like magnum stuffed behind the desk no 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 nothing okay Okay. Yeah, I mean, the um, actual backdrop for this game, the the um, backgrounds, I, I thought they looked pretty good, but actually they're not quite up to a PlayStation standard. Uh, I think they're just, it's probably because they're just early, they're very low um, resolution as we would, you know, as you'd understand, but there's actually like not many colours going on either. Now the, play, uh, the Sega Saturn was actually a 2D beast. When it came to um, 2D games, it was actually quite short-sighted. Sega banked heavily on making a very powerful 2D machine that could pump out some disgustingly detailed 2D stuff for the time. Uh, unfortunately, they, they kind of backed the wrong horse, where the rest of the industry was going 3D. Um, so there's not really any reason for these to be so low resolution, but anyway... The apartment area. The get ah, so we can't go to the apartment area yet. Uh, right. So we need to go. I can't remember where he said we were supposed to go next. What's that one? Uh, Duboris room is locked. Okay. Uh, is it the deck we all needed to go to? The control deck, maybe. Captain did leave in some. Pretty, uh, pretty quick succession there. So, okay, so the monsters, so the captain knows about the monsters, but is insisting they're nothing to do with the, the, the Navy experiments. Okay. All the Sea Fox missile hatch is open. Either there was a malfunction, or someone opened it from the inside. I can hear water in the Sea Fox's torpedo room. A torpedo will be launched in less than 10 seconds. It has a sonar tracking device. Everyone on base, until instructions are given, do not make a sound. Stop all construction work. I repeat, do not make a sound. This is not a drill. Okay. What's that sound? Air unit area. God. It's been launched.
safety system was on. That was close. But the air system isn't working. The pressure's dropping. There's a threat the big table could be flooded. Report the damage immediately. Uh, that's even worse. Missile launch code deactivated. Two keys must be entered within the Sea Fox command. Has the SEAL team arrived yet? The Coast Guard has arrived, but it'll be a while before the DSRV arrives. We don't have a minute to spare. Mayor, you were a SEAL Team 6 member, right? Didn't you have training in decoding nuclear missile launches? <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, but I'm sorry, we don't have any time. Get aboard the Sea Fox and take care of the situation. Go now! But, but... Your submarine should be able to dock with the Sea Fox. Just in case, I'll give you this. It's a standard weapon storeroom pass card. If something happens in the Sea Fox, use this to get a weapon. Good luck. Well... Okay, so I will say one thing for the story. I like it. It's it's different. Okay, so we've had a torpedo launch, which didn't detonate at the oxygen, but it did damage uh, because the safety protocols were on. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Uh, and now the sub has popped its missile hatches. That's bad. Um, okay, and we're an ex-Navy SEAL because... Sure, why not? Of course we are. Yeah, let, let's, let's go with that. Um... And we have nuclear missile disarmament training because why not? Fuck it, right? Um, okay. So now we've got to go aboard the Sea Fox, which I'm guessing is full of monsters. Ah, uh, cool. You've obtained the weapon card for the submachine gu for the submachine gun A. Ooh, ooh, daddy. Yum. Yum, yum. Yes, please. Uh, right, so we've got to go back to our submarine and get on board to this submarine. Now, I, I kind of really need to record Skies of Arcadia, but <laughs> I'm enjoying this game so much. It's so silly and so wacky. Uh, this is an urgent issue. Go to Sea Fox at once. You're our only hope. Yeah, no worries, Chief. I'm on the way. All right, keep your damn pants on, for God's sakes. Uh, right, let's go and... There was a weapons deck, wasn't there? I know there was, because when I played around with this game... Um... Off camera... Uh, I found one that said something about needing a seed, uh, a card. Ooh! Oh, we have oxygen uh, depleting. Yeah, that that's awkward. The apartment gate is locked. See, this thing, I guess, do we come back here later on? Maybe. Okay. So we have some kind of uh, disease that is morphing people into horrific creatures, which, uh, yeah, I, I kind of like that, actually. Um, oh, man, there's, <laughs> there's a countdown timer in every room. I don't like that, I'll be honest. I don't like having time limits to do stuff. Uh, even in here? Hopefully our engineers can get the oxygen... Oh. Working again. Hey, there's our friend. Sorry to piss on your fireworks, pal, but we're, we've got a job to do. Mookie, we have to go again. 
Gutted, my friend. Oh dear. How come we get all the dangerous jobs? We don't have time to wait for the seals. But if it's nuclear terrorists, they would wipe us out with one missile. Let's pray that doesn't happen. <laughs> I guess Mookie's also got a cold. Coughing and spluttering in such confined spaces with recycled air. You'd have thought that would be a big issue, but hey. There's a lot of uh, cinematics in this game, and I actually, I like that. Back when we had uh, CD optical media, and it was a new thing, and developers were like, how do we fill all this space? Let's use CG videos every five seconds, and I think it's cool. Right, so Mookie's going to stay behind. That's cool. So we have unlimited air in this ship, which is nice. Right, anyway, yeah, forgive me for cracking another bud. Yeah, I don't like Budweiser, but it was free, so. And it saves going and getting a coffee. Right, so. I'll call. As I said I'm cool. I'll call if something's up. Please be careful, Chief. Yeah, no, don't worry about it, buddy. Uh, now, I didn't actually want to come straight here. I was hoping that I could go to that weapons locker. Oh, there's health kits here. Can't hold any more first aid kits. It, it's interesting that it's kind of like a survival horror game. But in certain areas, you have unlimited access to medical supplies and weapons. That's, yeah, kind of counter intuitive to you know right okay so we're in the junction room to the outside we've got our gun we can hello we can run with the gun out i like that ers what happened everyone's dead from the strange disease mm. hell i might have caught it too there's a submarine at the hatch waiting for you what about you i have some things to do in the back be careful. The air in a ship is dangerous from fires. Use a regulator when the air doesn't clear things up. Okay, thanks. Regulator? Hey, that'd be cool if we can save people. A uh, little bit like carrier. Hey, dude. Um, use this until you find the regulator. Ah, cool. So we can talk to him again. Oh, I feel cold. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. So, okay, so he's aware of the strange disease that's permeating through the ship. That's interesting. So we can go up and down. Right. Uh, climb down. We're going down the ladder. Okay, let's do it. I'd feel a little bit more comfortable if I had a SMG or something. But, you know. Ooh, two seconds of air left. That's not great. Pop a grenade. I'm guessing if we run out of air, like, it's a really quick game over. Oh, dude, that's savage. A charred body. Oh, man. That's kind of rough, actually. Because of the fire, it can no longer be used. All right. So, okay, so I guess there's nothing we can actually do down here. So people were burnt alive when this ship went down. So, oof. Uh, apparently the... Oh, we can go down again. Okay. Uh, apparently this was um, quite the impact on the Sea Fox then. Oh, we really don't have a lot of air in here, do we? Uh, trouble is, you don't have a lot of time to think about where you want to go. Uh, and we only have so many grenades. Oh, hello. Random dude, just... Oh, maybe not. Uh, yeah, I look like he asphyxiated, but let's just get some more air out here. You alright there, Chief? What a tragic end. There are traces of scratches around his neck. Oh, shit. You've attained the Sea Fox key. So we have a key. I don't like the map at all. 
Uh, it's not very clear. I mean, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Hey, officer's quarters. Let's see what's in here. I haven't had, like, any... Oh! What I am going to do... I'm going to be saving this game whenever I get the chance. Just because the whole, like, air mechanic, I feel, is pretty rough. So, let's go back and save the game. I don't know if there's, like, multiple endings to this game or anything like that. I, I, I haven't heard anything about multiple endings, but... Let's be honest, this doesn't mean there isn't. They weren't really that common, though, multiple endings back then. But, um... Right, let's have a look in here. Ooh! It's locked. You need a key for the safe. Uh, okay. That key? No? What does that actually say? It's a key to the sea fox. You can... Ah, you can enter the bunk room with it. Right, cool. That does actually say... Okay, so the X button... Um... Ooh, weapons. <gasps> right. Wait, so... I... I guess... As long as we have the key for the weapon... Uh, we can... Get it from any locker. Alright, well, I mean, we've got an SMG now. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so it's worth coming in here then. Hopefully our friend outside hasn't horribly mutated into a, a frightening lobster man. It doesn't look like it. So, where is the bunk room? Uh, is it through here? The door is locked. You need the sea fox key. Is it this one? It is indeed. I guess the bunk room's going to be full of monsters, which is cool, because we like monsters. And there has, thus far... Ooh! Oh god, put that away. The regulator. And the KPGL9. Which is something. Alright, so we've got a regulator. Which I mean Oh hi. Hello. Uh fire. Um yeah, okay. That works. Not convinced. Not altogether convinced. I can't actually see anything. I right, can't aim at him now. Yeah, not convinced that this is a great weapon. To be honest. Uh, okay. It's okay, I suppose. I guess we don't need to come back here again. So the SMG seems to go through a hell of a lot of ammunition. Which is fine. Also, those camera angles. Oh, hi. Uh, gunfire. Reload. Right, let's back the hell off. Oh, okay, so we can do like a little skip back thing. Right. Yeah. Uh, not impressed. Not impressed with the SMG at all. Now, can I refill the ammo here? R change. Whoa. R charge, I guess. I guess we can't refill our ammo here, but that's fine. We can just go into the next room and get some ammo back. Yeah, so the SMG, I, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. The actual handgun feels pretty solid. Feels pretty good to use. But the SMG is uh, questionable. Right, let's get all of our ammo back. Right. So the KPG, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Is that, I wonder if that is a, um, 
underwater weapon, maybe. Is that how this game works? So why is that zero and that is three? What, do, what, what does that mean? I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, I guess we're going to keep going downstairs. Deeper underground. Yeah, they definitely could have done a little bit more, I think, with the uh, the visuals. I mean, Sega wasn't exactly in a super dire situation where the, when this game came out. I still, I do wonder if they pushed the Saturn a little bit more. Uh, I mean, the trouble, the, <laughs> the Saturn was set up for failure though, wasn't it? The fact that they, ooh, okay, we're underwater. And I guess that is an underwater weapon. So we've got our rebreather on. That, that's why we have the air bar. Got you. Oh man, it's very slow underwater. As you can imagine. Let's put the gun away. So we're in the torpedo room, I guess. Alright there, Chief. You got anything for me? What a tragic end. I can see his agony. You've obtained a magazine for the submachine gun. Okay. Does that, I wonder, allow us... You've obtained the fire extinguisher capsule. Oh, right. Fire extinguisher capsule. Um... This is a torpedo tube, I guess. It's the latch to load the torpedo. It's large enough for an adult to enter. Um, okay. Is that a hint? Are we supposed to enter the hatch? I guess we can't. Large enough for an adult to enter. Like, why would it say that? Without allowing us to enter it. Um, I guess... There's nothing else we can do here. Okay. Right, well. Let's get out of here. So I wonder if collecting a magazine for the gun. Maybe that extends the amount of ammunition we can carry. Maybe that's why it said three. Uh, does that mean we have three magazines for the submachine gun? I'm not sure. Oh. Oh, yeah, dude. We, we, we got a monster problem here. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, shit. So we have, like, multiple enemies. We have multiple enemies. That looked like a female enemy. Interesting. Okay. Right, well, uh, I suppose we'll save the game. So, we can put out a fire, but we haven't actually come up um, and discovered any fires yet. So, that's questionable. Now, let's see. If we go to fill up our ammo, is it going to tell us that we now have four instead of three magazines? Because if so, that makes sense. The air in this room is still pretty... Oh, we should have recharged our rebreather. No, it still says... Oh, right, okay. It still says three, but now instead of holding 60, we can hold 90 rounds for it. So, okay. So that underwater controls us, as you would imagine. Now, we're good for enemies, which is good. Right, our charge. Can we... Yeah, we can recharge the air in this room as well, which is always fun. So, I'm going to save the game here, guys, because we're out of time. Um, we've finally made it to the Sea Fox, and things are death death definitely taking a bit of a turn for the worse. This Sea Fox is in pretty rough shape. There's people who have been burnt alive. There's monsters everywhere. Uh, but we have a submachine gun with three magazines. So, you know, not impressed with the submachine gun, I'm going to be honest. It seems weak and pathetic. Uh, unfortunately, to be honest. 
but that's the way it is. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to have to love you and leave you here. And we will come back very soon to continue exploring. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. It's, it's different. <laughs> it's jank. It's, well, it's Sega, isn't it? So, till then, guys. Till then. Thank you.